Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Bernie Moriarty. Uh, I want people to understand why it is that I have some sort of phenomenal, profound influence. Okay, and this is before I knew it. Okay, I just um, and I have not composed it. So me giving a lecture without paper, which you know goes back well before the phone um, and the camera and even GPS. Okay, it goes back. Um, so. The phenomenon that is happening is that uh, um, my aunt worked at Xerox and I, bas I guess she would basically share photos with everyone in the office at parties, maybe certain individuals, and there ended up being a series of movies that happened to be all-time blockbusters that were uh, equivalent to uh, photographs that I've taken on my iPad, Apple computers. Yes, uh, that's uh, very close. Also, um, um, Patty was working at Xerox when Steve Jobs, I believe, when he came by and said, Ah, these guys, I have an idea. I'll steal it from them. And the problem is that's, that's okay if you're a great artist, you know, but legitimacy is also great, okay, to honor your uh, family and your country and your planet, okay? <laughs> or you could just burn it and say, Oh, well, there. They were hateful or something like that. You know, I had, you know, I pretended they were hatred, you know, propaganda. Um, so there can be positive and negative, and you can make, you know, blockbusters are generally going to be positive, okay? Uh, however, that for the planet to have that benefit, for the nations, um, for our civil society, the, the positivity has to be in the cash flow, okay? So if you're making a half a billion dollars, or if you're making a trillion dollars and the world has to spend a zillion dollars, that's a, <laughs> a joke, okay? That's a bad joke for the planet, for world peace, for everyone. And the intelligent communities, intelligence communities, I don't know if they're intelligent or not. George Washington, I think, was intelligent, but he was not educated properly like myself. Uh, my father, when he was at university, um, he didn't drop out like uh, Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, who became rich. But he stayed in there, and he was a published comic strip artist. I was also published in a magazine in Silicon Valley when I was like 10 years old. And this was like right before the movies. But this, the photos were the same time my aunt would share family photos with you know, esteemed colleagues, I guess. And Notre Dame, he was published, and JFK was president at the time in the intelligence community. I basically said, here's a character. Let's steal his identity. And... Then the Vietnam War, because Patty and Ravi, Vietnam.